Making Sense of Jazz Improvisation This lesson provides an introduction to jazz improvisation by offering a method for learning to interpret, practice, and perform the chord changes to standard tunes. The exercises and examples in the lesson are based on the chord changes to the standard tune, Blue Bassa. You've likely been playing your instrument for some time now and may have dabbled with the blues scale some. You may have even tried improvising to the chord changes but had trouble getting lost or confused in the middle of a solo. The learning system I'll show you should help you provide a structure to your practice routine that will help you maintain the form of the changes and perform the chords with accuracy. I'll begin by showing you how to interpret the chord symbols in our example then we'll advance by learning the tones associated with each chord and learning to play in time with the changes. Our final steps will be geared towards improvising creatively to the chord changes. I like to practice the examples of the C minor 7 and F minor 7 chords contain the 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 arpeggios complete with the appropriate alterations. We'll get to the flat five chords in a minute. Perform and repeat the C minor seven and F minor seven arpeggios until you can play them with accuracy. C minor seven. F minor seven. After practicing some or all of the patterns with rhythmic accuracy, practice improvising while maintaining a similarly structured rhythmic format. You can achieve this structure by performing two bar... This is Randy Hunter, and this has been making sense of jazz improvisation. Visit me on the web at randyhunterjazz.com and beginningsax.com.